in my neck and back crushed um soft tissue in between the um the spinal um the spinal column and hemorrhage on the disc and um tore all kinds of stuff up yeah what I was doing I was handing off another huge piece this was heavier than the um than the grand piano it was a um huge dining table that was made out of a African wood I forget the name of it but it was made out of a solid piece of an African wood which was dense and totally heavy and um that thing weighed over a thousand some pounds. But as I was handing my end over to one of the guys, cause it was two on, on one end, it was just me on the other end. And the guy that was supposed to be taking it from me, he didn't like me at all. He didn't like to be, um, to be supervised by, or to be managed. Cause I was the um, assistant manager by, manager by then. He didn't appreciate being managed and told what to do by a person of my color. So um, when I was handing it over to him, he, he acted like he was taking it, but then moved his hand. So the piece was falling and, and I only had one hand on it. So I had to go back and catch it with my other hand because I was handing it to him with my left hand I was handing it to him over across my body. And when he didn't take it, I had already taken my right hand. I was letting my right hand go. So all the weight was on the left side of my body. So when he didn't take it, I threw my other hand back over and it just jerked. All of that jerking tore stuff up in my neck and my back. And um, I was out of work that time for like 12 months totally messed up but once again this was a time where I had to lay down and the most I had totally dealt with fasting and praying and this time it's been no different no different with these um, with the stroke in 2016 and the like nine or 10 surgeries we had to undergo and procedures. And the healing process, which took like 11 to 12 months before I can get back out. And that time I was smart. I said, I'm not going to work for no other people. I started my own business at that time. And um, then here in June, 15th of this year I um, had to have that one of the heart valves replaced again and that was a, um, a very hard very hard um, surgery very hard but of course the most I got us through it and um, here we at here, here, here we are now and I'm hearing this voice as clear as ever Cause I'm learning when you say, take a fast, do a fast. I say, yes, sir, let's do it. And before, not before this one, but before the one before this one, I did a seven day. And after the first day, it was real tough the first day. But after the first day, it was a piece of cake. And it wasn't a dry fast either. It was just a water fast. I think I drank. I don't think I did juice at that time, but just water. But let's back up to Matthew 5 and 4. Bless the day that mourn, for they shall be comforted. And we know who's mourning right now. Who's been on the bottom of the totem pole. And after I thought about us here in the Americas, or should I say here in America, because that's sometimes our, as far as we look, or as far as we can see, as far as what's happening with us personally.
and to those who we have um, day-to-day contact with or that we can hear from. And it's been one struggle after the other for our people. But the Most High says today, you shall be confident. That confidence is coming, we can say. That relief is coming. Hallelujah. So hold on. Baby, I'm coming. Hold on. Don't you worry about the thing. Say you can make it. But hold on. <laughs> yes, indeed. Just hold on a little while longer. And, and I I hate hearing when people say that. Hold on just a little while longer. No, I don't want to hold on no more. I want to hear you say it's on the way. It's, it's, they're going to come knocking at your door in a minute. And yep, that's true. That's true. That's true too. But we got to walk. We got to progress in this idea for today. Where he said, I will go before you and make the crooked places straight. So we know he has to go before his family to make the crooked places straight. And also, as the text says, if I, I go away to prepare a place for you, and if I go, I come back and take and take you with me so you can be with me where I go. See, you have to let the Most High speak to your family through his text. And he will if you give him the leeway. But he said, I, I have gone before you and made the crooked places straight. And that's what he told me personally. And that's this idea's title. I have gone before you and have made the crooked places straight. I have gone before you and made the crooked places straight. So a lot of that means also, family, he's taken out our enemies that's in our way. He's taken out the characters that's in the way. Mm-mm-mm. And not only the characters, but he's handling all the resources, the needs, everything we need in front of us that we need taken care of. Hallelujah. Yes, this is good news today. This is the Basura for sure. And then the final script he gave me. No, that was it for the three, but now we're going to go on to the um, the ones he gave me in conjunction to those scripts in our study for today. And it's Psalms 23 and 5. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You have anointed my head with oil. My cup overflows. And as we have studied the last few days, family, he gave us a new word during our fast, and it was Masse. Masse. And Masse is the Hebrew word for anoint or anointing. And it's a way to empower or bless and to fulfill a d- divine agreement, assignment, pardon me. It's a way to be empowered or blessed and to fulfill a divine assignment. See, this is the power we were speaking on from the Ruach Kakadash, who is who is your anointing. It's not no oil. <laughs> What's up, bro? It's not no oil. <laughs> but it's the um what the oil represents. And the next um, meaning of Messiah is anointing refers to Yah. Anointing refers when Yah does things through people that they couldn't do on their own. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And this is like speak a, a now or um, the bar word, which is a word straight from him and to breathe it out onto the people. See, that's what that the bar word means. It's a right now word like what we call um a, um, a rhema. We used to call it a rhema word. But it's a dark, 